So if you tuned in yesterday to the art stream, uh, there is the pole that signifies the height of the frost tree that we're going to build. And I did some concept art yesterday. Uh, the VOD should be on Twitch where I had like, you know, roots of the tree were coming down this cliff and there was like a staircase and stuff. And you can actually see um, that screenshot that I was working on was older because the one of the staircases that I was sort of like loosely blocking in on the stream is actually here. Like this is a this is a staircase that leads up to the main tree. And I don't know if I can see if this is a narrow, tricky path here, but you know, it goes straight up and then points at the main main tree. And then there's another road here that was uh, blocked in by that that little section there. But yeah, like look, no torches, no torches at all. So I was gonna fly, but I think it might be more fun to walk. So we'll go back down this way. Oh, it's gonna be huge electric gecko. Uh, really, really big. It's gonna take a long time, but it'll be fun. Um, I like this bridge too. I think this is Jersey Boy. I don't really know who did it, but it's a really sturdy looking. Like, look, he's got, I love this two by two pillar system. Like it's a really solid bridge and it's on an angle. Like it's not built straight. Like he's built this at like just a little bit of an angle. Really, really clever, clever, clever stuff. And this is all coarse dirt, this texture here, which I really like. Maybe not the green so much, but uh, everything else about it is really good. I feel like I, when I say not the green, I like the green here on Vastin, but for me to <clears throat> steal it and use it on the Citadel, I feel like I might not leave the green in it, but man, such cool stuff. And this is andesite. So this is what the dark, dark andesite looks like. There's just so much to look at in this world. It's hard to, uh, hard to stay focused. Let's, uh, let's go up this way. Cause I think this is the way. So this is an inn that I think that Grumpy Owl is working on. Yeah. I don't know. I was looking at this last night. He was on, I don't know how far he got with the front door. But I really like this like double double inset front door. Really, really cool. Look at this. Huge stuff. But what we're working on is over here. And the idea is that you're gonna get into a smaller boat, just a regular Minecraft boat, from this ship. And you want to be drawn to approach the center of the town over there. Uh, who built what electric gecko? Which one? Um, the tree or the or the inn? The inn is Grumpy Owl. I think this is Grumpy Owl too. I could be wrong. I know that Pixel Brew has been on doing stuff too, and I don't know who. I don't. I'm. I hesitate to say who built what because I don't know for sure. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. You can check their videos out and find out what's up. If you if you go to my vast and intro, my realm intro video from December second then links to everybody's channel is down below. So you can find out that way too. So we're probably gonna change the landscape around here so it's less in the way, but you're gonna get on a boat, a Minecraft boat, and you're gonna come over this way. And we wanted this to kind of look like an important landmark, like kind of like the first place you're gonna to wanna to go. And so when you come around here, these two towers suggest you should go between. And when you do that, you are lined up directly with the tree. I mean, look how look how big this is. That's the top. Like, that is just crazy. That's build height, by the way. So this road, I don't think it's going to be a straight shot, but it is going to lead up to this point. And I sort of threw in some cobble last night, just kind of messing around like, oh, maybe we curve it this way and then curve it back over there. And I don't know. Uh, I'm sure there'll be other stuff too, because this is all going to be city cityscape. But you can kind of see the edge of of those stairs that we walked up here, uh, and then that's going to be the main frost tree. Uh, and there's going to be a big branch, I think, kind of going out that way. Uh, if I can do it, I might try to overlay. I might try to take a picture of my screen of my art, and see if I can't over overlay it over the video. So like, if I stand, it would be a good place to stand. I guess. I guess here, maybe a little bit farther back. 
put some blocks down or something. I can't remember exactly where I was in, in the painting as far as where I took the screenshot from. But that's right, I get up here. So in the video, if I have time, I'll grab my, my concept art and I'll maybe do a, an overlay and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, Cause I, th I think it's gonna be really, really neat when it's all built in Minecraft. It's a super, super cool idea. Uh, let's just, uh, and it wasn't my idea. The frost tree is, is I think fix it. And somebody else came up with it as far as the, the concept of a tree, the, the painting was all mine, but we'll see. Yep. Realm of Vastin on YouTube or, um, let's see here. Can I get a, a command Vastin in, in the chat? Cause there's a link to, um, the Wikia, which is really cool. So this is, this is the tower that I, that I started with uh, Grumpy Owl and Fix It uh, the other night. We were out here discussing what should be done, and the idea was tossed out, I think by me, that we should do some squat towers, some things that are not too tall, that are not gonna detract from um, the, the main tree there. So the limit was like, you know, seven, maybe nine blocks max. Uh, so this is what we came up with. And no sooner did I suggest it than all of a sudden uh, Grumpy and Fix It were just on it and we started laying out and, and framing and it just happened so fast. So I'm going to sleep here so we can get a better look. I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. I think all of the commands are uh, general user. I don't think I've put anything yet behind uh, the mod the mod, um, I guess, repertoire, we'll call it. Okay, so uh, this is the way that things look in broad daylight. So obviously this is just gonna be a, a copy. Uh, we'll, make, we'll make it look a little bit different. Maybe we'll try to do some different stone work and stuff like that, but straight up, it's all just andesite, andesite bricks with some diorite and some regular stone. And the cool, I don't want to, I don't want to go all the way back over there, but the cool thing that, that Grumpy Owl was doing was using, see if I can find an example, any place where the wall would touch the ground and eventually there's going to be some snow layers here and you want to use cobble or diorite. Somewhere I've used diorite, like here I've used diorite. And the idea is that it looks like there's ice on the wall, like on the stone which I thought was a really cool idea. So everything up top is all andesite, but then I've peppered in a little bit of stone cobble and andesite and along the bottom here, just like in teeny tiny little bits, just to kind of make it look a little colder. Ooh, looks like I've missed a spot here. So the, whoa, I just fell down a hole. Uh, yeah, I need to fill this in. So I think the idea for today is going to be to complete the walls and complete the battlements and stuff at the top can't remember exactly what those are called um, but we're gonna we're gonna complete that section up top and I'm also gonna try and finish up the interior a little bit too because I'm, I'm happy with the way that that's looking I decided on a spruce look um, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun so let's load up with some goodies I'm gonna need some spruce with me though guess I don't need this or the potato. <laughs> I've actually never used an arrow of slowness. Interesting. I uh, don't need that. Could probably just put all this crap down here. Leave these on me. And maybe we should uh, put, I don't have what do I need? I don't think I'm going to need any diorite. I'll bring some, but I don't think I'm going to need too much of it. Definitely going to need bricks. Definitely going to need stairs, slabs, cobblestone, blah, and this, and cobblestone walls. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, okay, so the idea in here uh, is to have like a quick way for the the people that live here or used to live here to get up and down. So if you're defending the gate from an attack of zombie pigmen, 
you want to be able to shoot at the zombie pigmen and then if you need to go down and fight them hand to hand then you need to be able to get down there quickly and that's why i thought these stairs just kind of like point you straight out the door and then you're just like rah and you come out here and you can do your do your dirty work uh there's also a couple of little holes up here little windows just in, just on the one side cosmic dancer holy smoke that's amazing thank you Cosmic Dancer is probably the coolest person in the world. No, well, she's pretty cool. Uh, she is uh, one of the, I would say, foremost members of the Spawn Chunks community and in mine. And she's just awesome. Thank you. That's I'm blown away. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad you're here. It's been a fun afternoon. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, these, these windows, kind of quick access. I don't, I feel like I want to change this so that you can just walk right up. But I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to just do a straight platform. Uh, but anyway, so you come up here, and so this way you can kind of shoot out with your bow and arrow. See if I can hit this. Bang! Right. So that block, so dead. And then you can run back up here, and go back upstairs, and get up here. And be, this is fun because of the walls. You can just jam yourself right up here, and you can't. You can't get out. You can't actually jump out by mistake. So again, you can come back up here. Kill the block. So dead. So that's the, the philosophy behind it. And I don't know if I'm going to put another stair up here or if I want to have this just kind of be asymmetrical and kind of go out to a way to go over here without having to scoot behind because this is a little bit tricky. It's a little bit narrow. And I thought that if this was just a wide platform straight out to this, then it might make a little bit more sense. I don't know if we need two staircases uh, going up to the top here. It might look cool. Um, not really sure. Oh, are we having some buffering? Sorry. Uh, feels good on my end. I'm not having any lag. And Merry Christmas to you, Cosmic Dancer. That's really sweet. Cool. Looks like Magpie tier is okay, so the stream should be, should be all right. So first things first, we need to, um, build up these walls. And this is a slow process because of um, the two different, the three different kinds of blocks that are involved, but also because of the, the weird nature of the shape of this build. And I fell in the hole again. Sigh, okay. So it looks like this is almost done. I'd say maybe we do some work like that. Actually, maybe this should be a solid brick. Like that. These randomly, um, will generate a texture as to be either cracked or or regular and it's completely just completely random so i feel like this just goes, goes up like this and then how do i want to do this probably like that that was not as random as i thought it was going to be I think maybe we'll take this one out and do that there too. Just realized I got rid of my easy access to the back. So with this, I did this part wrong because there needs to be some stairs up there. And I think the other side is not yet complete. So let's do the walls first. Let's see here, is there anything missing? Oh no. Looks like we're solid. Got that done. So this is what I want to do. Like this is this is the uh, more of a complete top to the build with the alternating stairs and and solid blocks. So it looks like the stair needs to be capped on the end there. So let's grab a cobble stair. I wish um, we don't yet have them, but eventually. When 1.14 comes out, the server is going to update once it's a like either a pre-release or something really stable, uh, because having stairs and slabs in in andesite and diorite and stuff in this particular texture pack is going to be wicked fun. Um, so I think that looks right. I'm missing a stone wall. So this is going to be kind of like the 
some very detail oriented stuff. Oh, there's, there's stairs here. These do not, this was an experiment gone wrong. So we're not going to use those. That's not a thing. Get rid of those. I want them back though. And then this is just going to be andesite. We need more bricks, I think. Uh, probably on the inside. There, there, and then. I try not to put more than two in a row and then scoot off at an angle. And then we can do the this kind of andesite there, like that. And I like this overlay texture. Like when you put andesite next to andesite brick, there's this little, it completes the brick. So it kind of gets rid of that grid pattern that happens so often in Minecraft. It's such a simple little change, but it, it makes a the world of difference. <laughs> You're AF King at a gas farm. <laughs> yeah, that would, I don't, I actually, I, I purposely mute computers when I'm, when I'm AFKing at stuff like, like that. Cause the gas noise would drive me crazy. I think I did two walls there. One on either side. Yep. And I don't think this is all the way around. I think this is just something I was planning on doing on the main, the main wall here, the main entrance, like the front, like that. And what did I do up top? It looks like solid block and then stairs facing the other direction. It's always tricky with these ovals. You have kind of have to decide at what point you're going to change the direction of your, of your blocks. Can I reach that? Let's say that's right. And then what happens over here? I'm losing the sun again. It's the only thing about this particular texture pack with the torches is that when the sun goes down, like it gets dark before it's dark, which I guess is sort of realistic, but it's a little bit problematic when you're building, especially in here. Yes, crossbows on this build would be super cool. Super, super cool. I'd like to have like, I'd like to maybe build something on top of them, like a ballista or, or the idea was to just have like brazier fires, but I'm not really sure. Uh, so then this is, this is the only part of this that's gonna be tricky and hopefully not too boring on stream. So we've got a straight stair on each of, of the logs and that should be a stair as well. We should do that while we're here. So I'm pretty sure each of these is a stair. And we'll do cobble and then solid and then probably solid. I did not mean to do that. Oh, did I do that wrong? I feel like I did that wrong. Crap, I did that wrong. It switches up, it switches up on the, on the large sides. Oh, come on, please be able to play this game. So this is a solid. This is a stair. I am out of stone stairs. And let's do do bricks here. And to answer your pending question, no, I don't know why I'm carrying around three, <laughs> three uh, crafting tables. No clue. <laughs> no idea whatsoever. Uh, and then this, I guess, is also, I'm going to switch this out to cobble. Like that. I think that's how it's supposed to go.
yeah, so there's two stairs in the end. One, two, three, four, five, and then two stairs. And then it starts to do its other, the other pattern. So let's double check that here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then there's two stairs. So this stair, it's supposed to be a stair, but it's supposed to be facing the other way. I want to take care of all of this before I start to do the other battlements because I found that it's going to be easier that way. So that, yep, that's right. And then I've got this stair is correct, but facing the wrong way. And let's just do, can I get it? Yes. Sweet. It's funny to have to retrain your brain to collect things like diorite and andesite because a lot of times in the Citadel, I just kind of let them let them go because I don't really use that much of them. So when you have a ton of them around, you just kind of let them go. But for this, especially because this is such a large area, it saves you a lot of running back and forth if you always clean up and grab the stuff that you, do. you don't think you're gonna need, but eventually you, you always do. Yeah, I always carry at least one crafting bench. There's usually one in my inventory and then another one in my ender chest, but I must have just built a couple of them or picked them up along the way. Uh, cool, so that's that. Let's, uh, I didn't bring any stone because we can do the buttons while we're out here too. I'm sure we're going to need a full stack, so we'll just grab this. How often do you get to build yourself or craft yourself a full stack of buttons? Not often. <laughs> Cute. Cute, Cosmic Dancer. You know me so well. So some of these buttons might not stay because as you want to layer snow in the bottom here, which I may not do myself, I may talk with somebody else on the server because they might have a technique that they like to use and I'd like to learn. Um, but um, it doesn't look too bad. Like if one of the buttons is missing, it's not the end of the world. It just looks a little bit worn. But it does quite a lot for the build, I think. I think I got all sides. Can I get this side? Yep. Just makes it look very aggressive. Reminds me of, of World of Warcraft and all the the spikiness that happens in the horde Orgrimmar type builds. They always have lots of big metal rivets and stone things sticking out. It's very sharp. Wow, that stack of stone did not last very long. Hmm. Just need to remember that. Yep. Waste not, what not. Why did I try to sleep? I don't want to sleep. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're done with buttons for now. <laughs> there's no more smooth stone out here. Uh, there's a, there's tons of it back in the back in the massive storage system we just finished. Yeah. I'm liking that. So now we just have to continue that pattern over here. So I think the thing to do is to start with the main flat side, which is solid in the middle and solid over the over the planks. That's that's wrong. Yeah, I screwed that up again. Jeez. So one thing about as much as I like this andesite, it's uh it's really hard to see. So I do tend to mess up from time to time. This is also not a, not an easy build. This is pretty complicated. Uh, let's do, I think we had two there. I would have figured this out when I try to do the battlements anyway, but. Like that. And then it looks like probably a cobble wall and we'll do that. Do 
Tell you, when I first logged onto this world and I did not have fast tools, everything was taking forever. It was crazy. So, uh, right. So the middle one is a solid block and then the other two are stairs. So solid block and then stair, stair. And I'm just kind of randomly putting them up there. I'm not really thinking too hard about what block choices I'm making. We can always refine it later. So what I did with these walls too, I just kind of like randomly put them together and then I went back and kind of like was a little bit more choosy about them. So then solid block and then two stairs. Oh, I think I left this up there by mistake. Yep. Cool. So the two stairs are on one, two, and then two stairs. So let's do stay. Oh, a little trigger happy. Oh, that's going to stay up there too. Darn it. Okay. So now we can just do, I guess, stair. I don't want to do another cobble stair because that's exactly what we did on the other side. Cool. I think that looks right. I think the other side has got some fancier, fancier stuff on it. I might want to take a look and see. So it's just this middle part that got fancy because of the windows, but maybe we can do something with this line, like maybe just one extra brick and then a stair, especially if it's like kind of busted up looking. Yeah. So we could maybe do, uh, something like this. And then a stair like that. Cool. Looks like it might be time to sleep again. It's funny, the extreme changes in light with the day cycle on Vastin really make you aware of how long you've been playing the game. 